Welcome biologists and in this video we are going to be focusing on the importance of mitosis and apoptosis. This is taken from specification point D for the OCR specification for A-level biology and cellular control. So in, uh, in cellular division back in AS we looked at the importance of mitosis. So just to really quickly recap on that, mitosis is used for asexual reproduction, growth and repair. Now in terms of development of the body form, mitosis is mainly used here for growth. So producing two genetically identical diploid daughter cells. Um, during the development of the body form, we also need apoptosis. And apoptosis is programmed cell death. And it is really important program cell death in the development of a body form. And we're going to look at some examples of this later on. So apoptosis and mitosis are regulated by the Hox genes. And Hox genes, they can determine when these happen due to producing certain transcription factors. And yes, they could be triggered by internal factors such as hormones that might trigger mitosis as well, and also external stimuli, uh, such as, for example, in the previous video, we looked at how temperature can impact upon the gender of tur turtles. So apoptosis or programmed cell death, it occurs in three main stages. And as I mentioned just before there, the apoptosis or programmed cell death, this is triggered by transcription factors that are made by the Hox genes. So we looked at the Hox genes in the previous videos, if you need to go back and recap. But yes, transcription factors turn on and off other genes. So in this particular case, the transcription factors made by the Hox genes cause the cytoskeleton to be broken down by enzymes and lysosomes. Now you may remember back to cellular structure at the beginning of AS that the cytoskeleton provides support for the cell and it also allows it to maintain its shape. Um, it also transports organelles by the contractile filaments that make up the cytoskeleton contracting. So once the cytoskeleton has broken down, the cell loses its shape. So in the next stage of apoptosis, we get these blebs forming, which is like the deformation of the cell surface membrane. And eventually these blebs will form fragments or segments of the cell that are kind of like budded off into almost like vesicle type structures and what happens to these segments of the cell that are broken off is that they're digested in the process of phagocytosis and again we've covered phagocytosis in the immune response if you did need to go back and recap that process but obviously phagocytosis is going to occur by a phagocyte now it's important that phagocytosis occurs here because we want to prevent any harmful substances produced by this broken down cell from reacting with any other cells so it's important that phagocytosis occurs. Now in terms of apoptosis and uh, development as you can see here in a very early embryo in the early embryo as an embryo is developing the fingers and the toes are all webbed they have they're all webbed that means the skin connecting all the fingers and toes together. Now, in development, obviously, it's important. We need mitosis for growth, as I mentioned before, but we also need apoptosis or programmed cell death to break down these cells in between my fingers and my toes. So that's what, in, in development, that's what we use apoptosis for. Now, this is an example of where apoptosis hasn't quite worked out. And um, the main reason behind this is that because the Hox gene hasn't produced enough or any or the right transcription factors. Uh, therefore, any molecules that are signaling apoptosis haven't been made and therefore apoptosis here hasn't occurred. So I still have some webbing here in between these toes, as you can see. So that's the importance of mitosis and apoptosis and how it regulates the development of a body form. Guys, in your exam, please remember, don't use the words it, they, amount and size. Use good scientific terminology. And if you like videos, hit the subscribe button. Good luck for your exams.